I used to have a ton of social media accounts when I was kind of more middle school age and that my whole entire self-esteem tied into it. There was a whole part of being kind of like judged by my peers on social media and that eventually I just ended up kind of deleting everything because it got to be too much pressure. I have a precise methodical system for keeping track of likes. Amy Smith liked my status update. Is she sincere? Is it cheating to text her with a slightly but not obviously self-deprecating comment just to check? How many selfies can I take in a month before I'm annoying? How many before it becomes self-centered? I should just delete my entire Instagram, right? And my Facebook, and my Twitter. Pathetic. I spend so much time thinking about men, and I can't quite tell who I'm supposed to be for them. Am I Lana? sitting in class dreaming of love, on the bus ride home dreaming of a relationship. Maybe I'm Emmy. If I like to slip on some heels and go out, sleep with men that don't love me, am I Marie? If my attention is on me, achieving success and securing my place in this world, Lana, Emmy, Marie, but are any of these me? I know when I was little, I would always throw out the, uh, what I thought were the ugly Barbie dolls. My mom would only buy me black Barbie dolls. I remember someone gave me a white Barbie doll, so it wasn't her permission, but I started throwing away the black ones because I, I wanted the white one, because I had that one, and she was furious. I got in a lot of trouble. No slouching. Slouching makes your stomach stick out. While standing, make sure to arch back just enough so bottom stands out. Shoulders back for exceptional breasts. Cellulite is covered. Stretch marks are covered. Arm fats should not be shown. Being younger and being in middle school, and I had all these guys who, like, I really, really had, like, big crushes on all of them, and I thought they were so cute. And they would always just kind of, like, make fun of me. As I got older, it was like all of a sudden, I was this really, like, attractive person to be around. And it was really nice, and it made me really, really confident, but it also made me worry. I worried so much about the way that I looked uh, in a way that was really controlling um, in my life in like a very negative way. Beautiful gave me an amazing sense of control, of power. Beautiful was so much better. The truth is my confidence has been worn down by the constant pressure to be more than anyone could ever be. The images being sold to me are so fake that I have no idea what real beauty looks like. You call like, oh, this plant is so beautiful. Or like, oh, what a beautiful pot of roses. Um, <laughs> but I mean, what I'm saying is that I feel like there's a lot of other ways where we can describe beauty as that is to strike joy and to be in awe of what has been created. And you can find beauty in like one's intelligence, I guess, and one's intellect and understanding that this is the person that they are and that they are choosing to use their intelligence and intellect for this and like how beautiful that is and how it is striking joy in other people or how it is um, creating new things.